Igor Volchanshin, one of the greatest stand-up fighters in mixed martial arts. Masaki Sataki. So Sataki did say, coming from a Kyokushin karate background, that a great influence on him was the uh, karate legend from Japan. Mas Oyama, and they used to try and emulate Mas Oyama by practicing to kill bulls and bears like Mas Oyama used to. That crazy? That is crazy. He feels that Peter Arts and Ernesto Hoos are the best in K1, but he does feel that Igor is the best in Pride. Yeah, he was very humble about it. That's why he was uh, he's a great guy, great personality. Oh, this is going to be a great one. I think Sataki's going to try for a takedown. Looks like he's going to try and do a lateral drop and shoot for a single there. But I think he's going to do that to surprise Igor. I think so too. He's faking it. Other thing. It would be something if he does it. I don't know that being so green at mixed martial arts that he wants to try to take Igor down. Who sometimes was able to repel the takedowns of Mark Kerr when they met in their first fight. Yeah, I know, and I, I, I don't think he's going to do it. He said also in our pre-fight interview um, that he, he liked the distance when you fight a striker. The distance is completely different than when you fight a mixed martial artist. And now he faces a striker, so he said, this is probably going to be my best fight. He's, yeah, he does expect it to be an aggressive fight, that's for sure. You see, the first one who's going to get a mistake, make a mistake is going to get it. We're just waiting. I notice how Igor has not thrown that right hand yet. Well, because he knows he's facing a good striker now, a decent striker. There's a, a left jab from Igor Bovchanshin. Nobody throws a kick because that would give away a takedown. So they turn it into a boxing match. Igor with that left hook and right to the body. Both punches came up a little bit short. strange what you said with the kids because I don't see somebody go for a takedown here. But Igor has the ability to trap the leg and throw the overhand right box. That's true. Because if Sataki were to throw the right low kick, and he's probably studied down Igor, Igor will cup the leg and drop that bomb on the top and get a knockdown. Absolutely right. Now, the referee tells him to fight. But Igor oh. coming in rumbling and Sataki trying to go over the top of the left hook. Igor with that left hook lands. There was a hit. <laughs> Igor starting to get busy. Igor can flurry, boss. He can flurry with those punches. Igor coming in. Wants to slug now with Sataki into the body lock position. Looks like Igor trying to dump him on the side. Sataki oh. hesitating there. Sataki, he knows he's in with... Guy with some speed in those fists. And power. Good peek over. Yes. So, well, left. That was a good left. Short, but stocky left. Right on the jaw. And again. Oh, he wants to follow it up with that big right hand now. And maybe the liver kick would be a perfect combination. That's a stiff jab there. Yep. A right low kick. It had nothing on it. Igor landed that right hand. Igor went to the body with that right kick. Igor really turning up the steam here. Coming in. Igor landing that left hook, missing the right hand over the top. Sataki really not being able to solve the boxing mode here. It would probably be the low kick into a body lock that would help him survive because he's probably going to get he's going to get hurt. Oh, good cup there by uh, Sataki. Caught the right low kick, but Igor. Oh, good overhand right by both chances. And almost hit with the left hook, which followed up. Both chances landing. This is going to be bad. Both Chanson really started to turn up the steam here with his punches. There's that right low kick. Yep, he probably studied the fight between both Chanson and Hoost. Uh, Good left hook by both Chanson again. But Sataki has got a chin, and he's been hit by some of the hardest punchers in, this, in the sport of martial arts. Michael Bernardo. Peter Hurts, Jerome Lebanon, 
So Bovchanchin conserving his energy. He's not going to punch himself out because he knows he's fighting a guy who can take a punch. Bovchanchin slipping in, bobbing and weaving. I'm telling you, the low kick, if he continues like that, it's going to take his toll. You're absolutely right, boss. The low kick is Sataki's key to this fight. Sataki showing good balance in the body lock. Igor tried to slip him down. Yeah, we saw Sataki, Sataki doing real good against Guy Metzger. Preventing the take that. Ooh, that sounded a little too high. Makes that pop when it hits the groin protector. Oh, God, what a power, huh? Yep. He's good at protecting the take down, defending the take down. Well, Chanchin thinking about underhooking that right hand into the body lock. A little bit of a slowdown. Well, the thing is, is that so far, Sataki has taken the punches right on the button. And it has almost not phased him at all. I know, I know. And it's uh, something, it's doing something to you mentally. Like when you give somebody your hardest shot and he just keeps fighting, it's uh, not a makes real you, funny feeling mentally. <laughs> yeah, because it, it makes you maybe lose confidence. But Igor has been, has so many fights. Well, Chanson ducking down low in the crowd and Whoa. banging away with Sataki. Almost puts Sataki on oh. the deck there. Sataki. Look at him, he's inviting him. But now Igor's getting his back. Igor, it, it'll be just a matter of time before Igor steps to the side, pins out, and takes him to the ground. Sataki having wrestling shoes is a smart move in this fight because he has better traction and he knows that he won't be susceptible to a leg lock because Bochanchin has never submitted anybody to a leg lock. There's that chopping right hand by Bochanchin. Wow. Yeah, and he can't do anything because Bochanchin is holding his other hand. Taki getting friend. My God, he's, he's screaming yeah, he's, uh, in the audience. Looks like he's bleeding up the nose a little bit. Yeah. Let's forget about a little bit. A lot. Yeah, the doctor is going to check it. Safety first. That's right. Safety first for the fighters. May have had a broken nose there. But a broken nose is not going to stop Sataki from continuing in this fight. Bro, uh, boss, you had your nose broken in the fight. You had your nose broken against Randall. Yeah. Yes, I did. I'm looking at, uh, from ringside, I can see Vovchanchin, and he's not breathing heavy here. He's in total shape. He's not tired at all. It looks like Sataki is enjoying this fight. He's been out boxed so far, landed a couple low kicks, but Bochanchin has really, really gone high and low with the punches, coming come in with a crouch, gone to the body. He's smelling a knockout right now. He's smelling it. He's going for it. Whoa. <laughs> Good inside left kick there by Sataki. Low kicks, he's doing it. He has to watch out. Oh, all right hand. Oh, my God, if that connects. Oh, the knee. The knee. Look but, at that. But it, it didn't really land. This fight, much like the title of this show, is definitely turning into a raging rumble. Yeah, you remember when we were talking to people, they say, oh, and Vov Chajin is going to KO him. And we were saying, come on, man, this guy is a good striker, a decent striker. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Usually people that say right. that usually people that say that are not real up on K-1 history. Yes. Or stand-up striking history. Because Vov Chajin, although he is a great stand-up fighter in mixed martial arts, it's a different game. It is a different game because you have to practice so many other disciplines that you can't just refine your stand-up fighting. Well, Jensen did come from a kickboxing background, but he jumped oh. into mixed martial arts because he couldn't get fights in Russia. Speak speaking of fights, well, Jensen is a veteran of 70 mixed martial arts fights with, with three losses. Sataki is throwing some knees, hard knees. Both Chanchin was throwing body shots with the right hand to the body. Would connect it also. Oh, he's taking the karate stance. And he's continuing with the low kicks. Sataki has such passion when he fights. This is really 
a clash in a way of two totally different animals. One is ice cold, Hugo Bochanchen, and the other one is one of the most passionate fighters ever from Japan oh. in Sitaki. And they're really brawling here, folks. And now Igor is going. He's working the body and the head. He's going all over the place, which is perfect. But you don't see a lot. He's working the body, then goes to the head, goes to the body again. And even in this position where they are in right now, he's delivering some decent, solid body shots. We haven't seen Igor Bovchansky be this aggressive in a long time. A lot of people thought that his last fight against Gilbert Eibel, yeah, it looks like his... Uh, there's been some tape that's falling down uh, from a previous little scrape he had under his chin, Mr. Uh, Sakaki. He should just tear it off or something. Well, well, this turns out to be a big fight. This is a war right now. Raging Rumble in the ring, round one. Can you believe it's only round one? It's unbelievable. And they don't show, show any sign of fatigue. Wow. It takes the audience starts. Listen to them. Satake. Satake. Oh. Right now it looks like Igor's got his number. Satake should go back to the low kick. He shouldn't try and box. Maybe oh. only low kick. Just throw the jab and low kick. Whoa. Oh. And the takedown defense is perfect again. Look at this. Wow. What a first round. Excellent first round. And it's really exactly as we expected. We expected them both to come out there. Uh, Igor Bovchanchin, in his last fight, fought Gilbert Eibel, who may be the most dangerous stand-up fighter in the sport of mixed martial arts, and decided to take it to the ground. Many people thought that was going to be a stand-up war, but Igor used a real good game plan. Why stand up with Gilbert and face those knees? Sataki, on the other hand, I think Igor wants to make a statement about a stand up in this fight. No, he wants, but we saw him earlier in the fight trying to go for a takedown, and I think that he paid a lot of attention to Vegeta or when he fought Gilbert Ivel. There we go. Yeah, Sataki, oh, Whoa. catching a left right combination. Bochanchik going to the body with that right hook. And Sataki looking a little frustrated after that exchange. There's that low kick. Folk Chancha doesn't really know how to block the low kick, at least not by that example. But it's like sometimes the counterattack for a low kick is to punch the guy in the face. Oh, yes. Boy, that was a good knee. That was a good knee that he hit him with, did you see? So Sataki isn't dead in the water here by any stretch of the imagination, but Folk Chancha is outscoring him by a sizable margin right now. Yeah, he's more aggressive at attack, but it, at the other end, Sataki is very aggressive too. Shouting, screaming, coming forward. And as you said before about the confidence thing, he was probably thinking, wait, I hit this guy in the button about 12 times in the, in the round, <laughs> yeah. and he wobbled him once. And some hard body shots too. And then he, and then he gives me a return to knee to the head. Yeah. So, what is this guy? So this fight is living up uh, to... I had expectations for this fight, but this is exceeding my expectations. Yeah, but let's knock on wood, because the, the previous fight, when we said it, it was over. I can hardly wait to see what's going to happen in this round. Oh, me too. I'm all smiles here. Well, we know one thing. Igor will throw that overhand right. Oh, and they look both in a good shape. Look at him. Not breathing heavy. I think Sataki's key here is he's got to use the jab. The jab was effective for Trey Tullivan. It was also effective for Gary Goodrich when he fought Evil for the chance in the second time in the Pride Grand Prix in May of last year. Yeah, but the low kick. I would go for that too. Keep but, going yeah, with but, the low kick. But use the jab, then throw the low kick. Yeah, perfect combo. You see the back of the, the leg, the side of the leg of Chanchin is pretty red already. You see his left leg from here. But his his legs are yeah. so thick. It's too Ernesto, who's possibly the greatest low kicker in the upper weights, had to wait for three rounds to chop down Igor Bovchanchin with, with low kicks. Yeah, plus. And, and he's a far better low kicker than Sataki is. Yeah, and, uh, Peter Ertz told me he fought one time or yeah, a couple of times with Ernesto Ruiz. He said his shin bones, Ernesto, his shin bones are so sharp. He says he only needs a few low kicks. So you're right. It's, it's going like, to take a lot. Now. It's like a razor blade. Ruiz has got a razor blade where Sataki, because his legs are stocky, it, it, it doesn't mean he's going to have a harder low kick. 
So Bochanchin doesn't seem to be. Oh, there's another one. It's Bochanchin answers with his yeah. own low kick. Yeah, but Sataki coming from the Kyokushin Karate. Listen, man, these guys, they have trained upper legs. Oh, my God. That was a good shot. Yes. Igor has to do something because this is going to be dangerous. Sataki should need now the leg of, of Chanchen. So if you like that, you get more power, you see he's doing it. What warriors these men are. Even hitting the leg would be very good right now. We've seen both Chanchen hit the leg when he uh, took someone down and got in the guard. He would hit them in the thigh. <laughs> the punch. I thought in Thai boxing I was the first one who did it. I did it actually in Thai boxing. boxing. I was hitting somebody with the big gloves on the legs. Instead of a low place. kick, it's a low punch, but it's legal. <laughs> yeah. It's legal. Of course. But, uh, oh, there it is. Right as you called it, Mr. Rutten. Yep. And he has, when he continues like that, it's on the same spot that he landed the low kick. And the camera's got a real good angle on that. Now it looks like we're going to have a restart. And that's fine. No problem. Sataki getting busy with the kicks, and that is the key yeah, that's in a fight with Vochanchin. If he doesn't have a good jab, he's got to use kicks. Oh, but Sataki has been there. He has been in some wars. You better believe it. Day one, five rounds surviving. Guys like Bernardo and Monday. Well, it's, interesting. it's interesting because Vochanchin, when he gets kicked, body shots by Vochanchin. Well, Jansen, when he gets kicked with a low kick, is turning his leg the wrong way. He's turning his way, leg away from the kick, and he's getting caught in the back of the thigh. He should turn his leg into Sataki's kick and bend the knee. That way he will bounce off the top of his thigh. Less to the best arm that way. Oh, less harm. Plus, he's in the perfect position to counterattack with the right straight, which is his yeah, best weapon. It seems like uh, Sataki is starting to figure out Bochanchin oh, a little bit in this round. Oh, nice knee. If it wasn't for his own right arm, it might have done a lot of damage. Bochanchin going for the angle pick there, and Bochanchin on top oh. in a half-mount position. He's mounting it. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. This is bad for Sataki because okay. Sataki doesn't really mount. I, I've never seen this. Look at the audience. Oh, and Bochanchin is lethal in the mounting position. He, he shouldn't grab around his neck. He shouldn't do this. Sataki can turn him to the left right now. Sataki can. But the ropes would save him. Yeah, okay. But ropes, still. Yeah, but, but Sataki might not know this. Yeah, but he trades with uh, Sakurado. Sakurado would do it. That's true. He's going for it. Almar looks like Did you see that. <laughs> Bochanchin looks like, oh no, he's pulling his arm away. Wow, this is not a position you want to be in with Igor on top. Wow. And he, and he, see, Igor, oh my God, he can be absolutely crushing at a short distance with the punches. Go to the body, and this is where we were telling a lot of the other fighters in the earlier fights would not go to the body to set up the headshot. Because when you go to the body, the person would drop their elbows down to protect the body, just as Sataki did. Oh, and leave their head open. Or chance of cracking that left hand. Oh my God! He should try to go for guard. Push him on at least bridge. If you start bridging, explosive bridging. He's getting uh, a timeout now. Look, his knees yeah. are right under Sataki's armpits. Yep. At the moment he punches, he should bridge explosive, and then then Vovchanchin needs to find a better position. He needs to position himself, otherwise he's going to be turned. So well, another thing Vovchanchin could do would be throw light. Light punches quickly. Okay, oh oh my God. Wow. What a fight. This is a great fight so far. Sataki has really got a lot of heart and soul. Survived the mount there by Bochanchin. Bochanchin still in control of the fight. Now, it's going to come down to conditioning in this round. If Bochanchin gets a little tired, Sataki has got to get busy with low kicks. Just throw the low kick as hard as he can for five more minutes. If he does it, he has, he's got a chance. Yeah, he's got to throw it. So if I were Sataki's corner, okay, here we are. Sataki oh. going with the low kick and Igor turning away from it. And he, there's, an even, and there's another low kick, but it was with the instep. It wasn't with the shin, boss. I know, but still, you know, it's like you said, he turns away from it and that prevents him from uh, tensing his muscles. So the impact is way bigger. He should go turn into it. Igor in control in the mount here, landing that right hand and then trying to cup 
Um, he's got such a perfect position for an armbar. He could have arm guarded so easily. But Igor yep. is not a jujitsu stylist by any stretch of the imagination. His <laughs> his choke out of Gilbert Ivel, he said that that was the first choke he'd ever done in his life. First time for everything. That's right. Sataki has got to get busy. If I was Sataki's corner, I would say go out there, throw that right low kick as hard as you can. And by looking at him, both of them, they look still in a good shape. I'm looking at Sataki right now, everybody does now. But look at him. He's, he's not breathing heavy. Igor is not breathing heavy. He's drinking his water. It's not like he's spraying it in and spitting it out. He's drinking relaxed his water. You see, Sataki wants. Sataki wants. Sataki has got that look in his eyes, that hungry, animal, carnivorous look in his eyes. What a fight, huh? This has been a really, really exciting fight so far. This is the third and possibly, and it will be the final round. Sataki, you can see he's going to throw the low kick. He's going to gauge it. There it is. There you go. Now punch open. Do that left hook and a cut eagle on the elbow. Probably did more damage to Masaka uh, Sakaki's than it did Igor. There's another low kick with a left inside. He sees going low, low, low. He, and Igor can't stay on the outside. Now Sataki checked that kick really well, so that probably hurt Igor more than it did Sataki. Igor is can't stay on the outside and take those low kicks like this. Oh, nice fake right kick. Right hand over the top. I love that combination. I love it too. I want to knock somebody out with it. I mean, Thai boxing guys. Beautiful punch. Because what happens is the guy looks at the kick, but the kick is a fake, and he drops his hands to try and catch the kick. Boom. That's right. Now here we are in this position again. It has been anything but boring in this position too in the last few rounds. Even from here, they did everything. Igor's got a knee, but the shorter man really doesn't make out well in the knee position. There he goes. He's going for that ankle. Sataki just doesn't have the, the skills. Although, he, he, he pulled him back up. He just pulled him back up. This guy, man, he amazes me. Similar spirit. Here we go. Wow. Sasaki at 35 years old is seven years older than Igor Kovchanshin at 27. And kicks chopping away with the low kicks and the kicks. His key to victory here is the kicks, but he's got to stop Kovchanshin. He can't win a decision right now. He's too far behind the force. He's got to knock Kovchanshin down, hurt Kovchanshin. It's got to be with kicks in the body lock position. He's not going to do it with a knee. His knees have landed occasionally, but they haven't done any damage. Yeah, I think for Chanchin that they told him in the corner, you know, go for the takedown again. If you can do it again, go for the mount. But now earlier in the round, then you got a good chance to knock him out. He's ahead on points, I think, though. But um, it's a great fight. Well, chance of getting a little more strategic in this fight where he was aggressive in round one and a little bit of round two. That strategy may have something to do more with his cardio than it does with a game plan. Uh, he's got the underhooks perfect in. So then, well, chance of cannot pick the leg. You see, he knows he's going for it. Well, there we go, shot to the wall, knee to the head. <laughs> but that knee didn't land. Fuf <laughs> Chunchin was looking at me in the corner and he blinked his eye to me and smiled. <laughs> that was right after. Oh, Fuf Chunchin coming in, raging with a combination. And the liver kick. And he's going, oh, he almost cut the kick. And, and Sataki, to his credit, defeated the takedown. But and he goes. There he goes. Got that leg. Oh. Got the mount again. No, he really wants to hurt him. If I were both chances, I would just unload about 20 punches. Not worry about the power in the punches. Just start getting busy with punches and then load up periodically when the openings present themselves. But just to load and pick punches would not be a smart game plan here because Sataki will block them. Yep. Just start throwing light punches and let, let uh, Sataki react to them, then load up and go to the body or the head accordingly. Yeah, I would have hammered to the body so hard. 
solar plexus in the middle, preferable, and then go to the head. Of the There's that right hand. That was a good shot. Yep. Oh, those right hands are sending Sutaki's head bouncing off the canvas. One minute. One minute left in this total domination by Igor Bochanchin over Masaki Sataki, who, who hasn't folded one inch. He, he, his will is still there. Bochanchin, you, you think, what, is he going to go for a key lock here? Yeah, but it's not a good position to not, do. No, not from the mouth, because he could roll him easily. Mm. Yep. That's the body shot. That, that was a hard punch. Mm. He wants to do it. It's, it's, it's smart. I think he's doing it as, as a distraction. just trying to hold the arm. Is he, is he, if he, would, would you be surprised if he went for an arm bar? I would be he had total, the, total shot. He had the arm cup perfectly. Yeah, he only has to step over. <laughs> Just fall over. <laughs> Igor. To, Igor going for, oh, he's going oh. for a key That would be just... See, there he go. Oh, now, Sataki trying to double hook over. Possibly slip over. Okay, the end of the fight. Boston. Beautiful. This was a great fight. This was... Uh, for me, it was the best fight uh, till uh, till now. Beautiful fight. What a striking match. We, we, we saw uh, they came out conservative, felt each other out a little bit in that first round. And then Bochanchin just got busy and started really unloading combination after combination and had the, the perfect distance for finding Sataki's chin, but it didn't phase Sataki. So to his credit, Sataki stayed in there, took the punches, Figured out in the, in the second, third round that the low kick maybe is key, but he didn't land enough low kicks to do any damage. And I don't even see both chances of limping from the low kicks. So Sataki, it may have been a conditioning thing. It may just be that both chances had his number. Yeah, it was a beautiful fight. They both still look fresh. If I look at them from here, here comes Igor raging in, missing, catching him with a forearm. And all those punches missed, but that kick to the liver. That's your liver kick, boss. Yep, there he is. Ooh, they cut the me. leg. Looks like Mr. Volchanchin has got another win.